He loves me, I cannot say why. On Calvary tree, he suffered for me. He loves me, I cannot say why. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your counsel and purpose. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your enabling power and grace upon our lives. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord, that which you have ordained for all of us, fulfill it in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Lord, we commit our Father and Lord, Pastor Yadeboye, his wife, his family, unto you, the leadership of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Please uphold them, support them, strengthen them, and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Good morning. Wherever you are, the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Uh, Open Heaven Devotional is authored by our friend, Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and it is for wisdom, for inspiration, for understanding, for establishment in the counsel and the purpose of the Lord. And uh, as we gain wisdom, as we gain instruction, we align and our lives never remain the same. Our lives are beautified and Jesus is glorified. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Today, Wednesday, May 29, 2024. Wednesday, May 29, 2024. And our topic is discovering God's purpose for your life. Discovering God's purpose for your life. And our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called us, who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Our Bible reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, 8 to 10. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 to 10. For by grace are you saved through faith, and are not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. So we are looking at discovering God's purpose for your life. Discovering God's purpose for your life. And we will be going into what God has for us today as we have it in the Open Heaven Devotional. A friend Lord says, God has a purpose for everything he does. In Exodus chapter 8, verse 11, he said to Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go that they may serve me. Why will they go that they may serve him? Why will they be released? that they may serve him. So he called on to Moses and said, this is the purpose for which I am sending you. So God's reason for delivering the Israelites from bondage was so that they would serve him and worship him. Likewise, your salvation comes with a purpose as the passage in today's Bible reading reveals. In Mark chapter 1, 40 to 45, a leper came to Jesus and said, I know that you can make me clean if you are willing. Jesus answered, I am willing. With one touch, the leper was cleansed. And he went everywhere testifying. God heals so that there can be testimonies. Also, anytime he set captives free, it is for a purpose. In Mark chapter 5, 2 to 20, the madman of Gadara was delivered and was ready to follow Jesus everywhere. But Jesus said, no, he had been delivered for a purpose. What is the purpose? To be a witness unto Jesus. To go to Decapolis, to go to many nations, to go to many cities and witness of the goodness of God. 
The most important thing is that you must discover the purpose of God for your life. You must make your life so open and positioned that every aspect of your life, the purpose of God will be revealed in it. You remember in John chapter 9, the disciples, they were hugging. When they saw a man that was born blind, they were asking questions. Who, who, who sinned? Whose fault was this man born blind? Is it the father? Is it the mother? Or is it this man? Who they, you know, they were arguing. And when Jesus had them, he said, no, 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 none of those things that you were talking about. This man was born blind that the works of the Lord will be glorified. That may declare the works of the Lord, may declare the mighty hand of the Lord, may declare the deliverance and the power of God. And before you know what's happening, the man that was born blind began to see. May you discover the purpose of God for every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So God also set free for his name to be praised. In Mark chapter 3, 1 to 5, the man with the withered hand received his healing. Because Psalm 47, 1 says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. A withered hand cannot be used to clap for God. So his hand was restored. A withered hand cannot clap. So when the Bible says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people, God had him in mind. And immediately he received his restoration. He can clap, he can shout hallelujah. The Lord bless you and receive the divine touch of the Lord as you go through this devotional in the name of Jesus Christ. So what is the purpose of a miracle? The Bible says in Acts 3, 1 to 11, that when the lame man at the beautiful gate received his miracle, he started walking, leaping and praising God. When you receive miracle, when you receive miracle, when you receive the hand of God, it is so that you can begin to praise God. It is so that you can begin to praise God. Also, miracle leads to salvation of souls. When people see the signs and wonder, they see the mighty hand of God, they believe and their heart melts and they receive Jesus Christ into their heart. That's why when you see great evangelists, mostly in their programs, in their miracle programs, deliverance program, the heart of men melts. And then they begin to hear the word of God. They begin to yield to the instructions from the word of God. And salvation, great harvest of souls will be bettered. So in Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 4, we see that Peter's speech, after healing the lame man, led to 5,000 people being saved. God does miracle to draw people to himself. He even said that they will not believe until they see miracles, signs, and wonders. Until they see signs and wonders, they won't believe. So, as we pray, as we trust God for miracles, signs, and wonders, we will see many that will be saved. Many will be saved. In Luke 5, 1 to 11, you know the story of Peter, when he, he allowed Jesus to use his boat to preach. And the Bible says, as he began to preach, he caught many fishes. He had to call people to come and help him. Hmm. He received huge miracle that frightened him. After working overnight and he caught nothing. The Lord said, from now, you will no longer catch fish. You will catch men. People got a breakthrough that drew him to serve God because the Bible says that he forsook all and followed him. So the purpose of that miracle is not for fish. No, 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 no. It's not for the multitude of fishes that he caught. It is to turn him to fisher of man, of men. It's to turn him to fisher of men. So believe God that the purpose of the miracles, signs and wonders that will be wrought in your life this season is to be evident is to make you to be fishers of men. Is to make you to be a distributor of miracles, signs, and wonders. You should ask yourself, why has God delivered you from darkness and kept you healthy? Why did he save your soul? He did all this for a purpose. Have you discovered that purpose? Don't just thank God for healing, salvation, and deliverance, and provision. Remember, 
that he did everything for a purpose. That's why true gospel must include salvation, deliverance, must include purpose, must include vision from above, must include doing the will of God, doing, being established in the purpose and the counsel of the Lord. It must be taught. People must pursue the will of God. Even Jesus said, he came in the volume of book that is written of him, thy will, O Lord, I will do. Jeremiah 1.5, he said, the purpose for which you were born, you were separated from your mother's womb, is to be a prophet to nations. You must know why you were born. You must know why he saved your soul. You must discover it. And there, there are lots, there are lots. He comes, like we, we can say, he comes in faces, in chapters. As he unfolds them as a child of God, you begin to understand this is the reason why you are alive. This is the reason why you are healthy. This is the reason why you are in that particular church. This is the reason why you are still standing in the kingdom. May the Lord give us understanding in Jesus' name. You must continually seek to discover his purpose for your life and fulfill it. Always ask, what is your purpose concerning this? What is your purpose concerning this? You must seek to know. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The most important thing, before you begin to discover the purpose of God for your life, is for the salvation of your soul to be secure. Looking unto him, the author and the finisher of your faith, let your salvation, the salvation of your soul, let it be secure now. Then, as it begins to open your eyes of understanding, you now begin to discover step by step, face upon one face, the counsel of God and the purpose of God for your life. He loves you. He wants the best for you. He does not want you to perish. He said you are saved by faith so that you will proclaim the good works of the Lord. You are, you are delivered from darkness into light so that you will show forth his praises. Don't forget this. Always remember. So every day you wake up, ask him, Lord, what is your purpose for my living? He will tell you. He said he will show you great and mighty things, even things that you don't know. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He will show you great and mighty things. Position yourself to be in alignment. You will never regret that. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Lord, help me to discover your purpose for my life and give me the grace to fulfill it. Help me to discover your purpose for my life and give me the grace to fulfill it. And that prayer be answered over your life in the name of Jesus. The grace to understand, to discover, to know the purpose of God for your life and the grace to follow and to obey it, to fulfill it. Receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, our memory verse is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. May the Lord reveal to you the purpose for your salvation, the purpose for your healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we ask that you take our lives and let it be consecrated unto you. That is our hymn for today. Take our lives and let it be consecrated unto you. All the days of our lives, we will serve you. Help us to be established in the counsel of your will and walk in the purpose of your glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. It is well with you. Bye for now. Bye.